Hello, my name's Charlton, and today we're talking about this thing. Ah, it's the Times Tables grid. There's no shortcuts. Look at all those numbers. You've got to know them. Honestly, they'll help you with your shopping, they'll help you with sports, anything involving numbers. The Times Tables is the key to unlocking it, but it's not as bad as it looks, okay? In fact, if you think that's complicated, let me just show you what's on the other side of this board. This guy is William Rowan Hamilton, born about 200 years ago. When he was a little lad, he was a good fella because he learned his times tables and he went on to invent his own special set of numbers. Can you see that? They're called quaternions. Isn't that groovy? And you think, what's that about? Apparently, one of the things those numbers do, they help make better pictures on video games. <laughs> I don't understand it. But every year I go to Dublin and the lovely people over there try and explain this to me. And every year I go, <laughs> at least there's something I do understand. I understand this. Now, like I say, you've got to know these numbers, but it's not as bad as it looks because hidden on here are some secret patterns, which I'm going to show you. So hopefully you're going to enjoy our quick look. Oh, by the way, this machine is making some really good noises today. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> like that one, do you? I do. Right, times tables. We've got all the numbers 1 to 12 going down there, and all the numbers 1 to 12 along the top. That's on the yellow bits there. If I want to multiply any two numbers together, I just pick two numbers. I Say I'll pick 4 times. Let's go for 11, OK? And we come down from 4, go across from 11, and there's the answer, 44. Now, it's nice to explain these things using shapes. Let's see what the green, the red, and the white numbers are all about. And I'm going to use a square here. This square's got lots of little squares, but how many little squares has it got? <laughs> Maybe you already know, but let's just test it. I'm going to put that there. Right, whatever number is under that square is the answer. How many squares have I got? And the answer there, oh, can you see it? It's 16, because it's 4 times 4. Now, if you multiply any number by itself, say 4 by 4, you get what's called a square number. And these red ones are all the square numbers. Of course, if I turn him round like that, he's a square. He's landed on the same number, and there he is, 16. Let's try with the bigger square. Here we are. We're going to put him on. Let's see how many little squares we've got. And if you have a little look, look, that square has landed exactly on top of number 49. 49 is a square number because it's 7 times 7. So these red numbers, the square numbers, and these are the key to making the times tables work for you. Let's just now try a shape that's not square. It's a rectangle. Wee, what excitement. How many little squares have we got here? Works in exactly the same way. We put him up there. But this time, this corner hasn't landed on a red one. It's on a green one, actually. And if we pick him up, 40. That's how many squares we've got there. It's 8 times by 5 makes 40. But I'm going to turn the rectangle round. With the square, it just landed on one of the red ones again. But with the rectangle, when I turn it round, this one has now landed on one of the little white squares. But we've still got 40 squares there. So underneath here, there should be the number 40. On the times table grid, all the numbers on the green side are copied onto the white side with all the square numbers running down the middle. We're going to see a bit more about that later on, but before we move away, I just want to show you this. This is my favourite little shape. Look, he goes there. It's nothing to do with times tables. It's just a bit of fun. That's my magic arrow. And the reason it's a magic arrow is when you put a mirror behind it, whoa, look what you get. That is the real reflection. It's not cheating. Look, if I move it. Ooh. <laughs> Do you like that? I love things that you can cut out and make out of paper, little tricks and things. And if you like this one, I've done another video about how to make them. But don't go and watch that one yet, OK? Because I've got more to show you here, because we're talking about times tables, remember? Look at this. This is a weird thing. This will help you put together the times tables, but you don't need to do any multiplying. You don't even need to know your times tables. It's really strange. See what you think. Written down the side here, I've got all the odd numbers and there's a zero there just to start us off. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the zero right up in that corner. And if I slot these numbers in between the red numbers, the square numbers, you'll see what happens. Right, zero. Add one makes one. One add three makes 
4. 4 out of 5 makes 9. 9 out of 7 is 16. Plus 9 is 25. Plus 11 is 36. Whiz, whiz, whiz. All the way down to the bottom here. And we get 121 plus 23 makes 144. You can make all the square numbers just by adding on these odd numbers one at a time. And if that's not weird enough, we can now turn this sideways. If you look at the square numbers, if you come down this direction, it's always one less. 16 goes to 15. If you got the 64, it goes to 63. Look, there's 100. What do you think's under my finger? It's 99. They're always one less. But in fact, it's better than that. Look, if I fold a zero there, and I put that there, like that. See, they've got 49. We take away the odd numbers now. 49 take away 1 is 48. Take away 3 is 45. Take away 5 is 40. Take away 7 is 33. Minus 9 is 24. Okay, and that works with any of these square numbers. Look, whoops. That's 16 up at the top. 16 take away 1 is 15. Take away 3 is 12. Take away 5 is 7. Okay, we can fill in all the square numbers and all those numbers going down there, then we can also fill in all these ones. Because 36, 35, 32, 27, go the other way. 36, 35, 32, 27. We have filled in already about half the grid of numbers. But now I'm going to flip this around and use even numbers. So far, the odd numbers have helped us fill in all these square numbers and all the diagonals coming off. But there's a load of numbers we wouldn't have filled in. These even ones, 2, 6, 12, 20. And that's why we need the even numbers. Just going to put that there, put that there. And here we go again. 0 plus 2 makes 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. And it works all the way down. And the great thing is, you don't need to stop at the bottom. This is really strange, because look what happens. Let's just get that lined up perfectly. We have 110 plus 22 makes 132. But the next number will be 24. 132 plus 24 actually makes 100. And 56. And in fact, we can keep this going for as long as we want. 156 is 12 times 13. So in fact, we make our times tables go on forever, just with more even numbers and more odd numbers. And when we go the other way, this still works, because when I tuck that under there, let's find an even number, 56. When we put those there, we just take them away. 56 minus 2 is 54, minus 4 is 50, minus 6 is 44, and there we go. We have filled in the whole of the times table grid, and we can make it as big as we like. Now, just suppose that a mad person had a giant times table grid about the size of a duvet cover, and they suddenly went, I can't stand this anymore. Then they tore it into tiny little bits and chucked the bits out of the window. Would those bits be any use? Well, look what I've just found. It's a tiny piece of a giant times table grid that someone's torn up and thrown out of a window. But look, that's all there is. <laughs> it's the big question. Is it any use? Now, we've only got two numbers on this little scrap of paper. Look, there they are. 1,600 and 1,681. But we're going to use these numbers and see how much of the grid we can fill in and what we can find about <laughs> <laughs> I've got to warn you, fasten your seatbelt, and you might even want to get a calculator ready to check me sums, because this is amazing. Right, first of all, these numbers luckily are both red. And on our times table grid, if you remember, the red numbers are all square numbers. So we know these two numbers are both squares. And the other thing is, when you go from one square number to the next square number, you add on an odd number. So the first thing we need to do is find out what odd number takes us from there to there. Nice simple sum to start off with. It's 1681 minus 1600. And the answer is 81. Now, before we do anything else, remember how these squares work. We added 81 to get from there to there. The next odd number will take us from there to there. So the next odd number after 81 will be 83. If you add 83 onto there, you get 1, 7, 6, <laughs> 4, yeah? And going back the other way, that was 83, that was 81. It's 79 between there and that number there. So if we take 79 away from there, we get 1, 5, 2, 1. In fact, if we just 
add or take away all the odd numbers, we can get all the square numbers on the times table going both directions. The trouble is, we've got the square numbers, but which square numbers are they? OK, what number times by itself makes that? There's a nice little trick here. The number to get from there to there was 81. If we want to find that one's square root, as we call it, we take away 1, and that makes 80. And then we divide 80 by 2, and that makes 40. There you go. And that number is 40 at the top there, and 40 goes down there. In fact, let me just do some thick lines. Right, <laughs> crossed it out to show that's at the very top. Now, this one down here, we can do the same thing again. We've got 81, but as this is the bigger of the two numbers, we add one, that makes 82. And then when we do 82 divided by 2, we get 41. And we knew it was 41, because 41 comes after 40 up there. Look at that. And in fact, we can write 42, 43, 39, <laughs> 39. I'll warn you, if you start doing this, it's really addictive. Well, <laughs> it is for me. Right, that's the square numbers sorted out. But how do we fill in the rest of the grid? Remember, we had this thing. It's dead simple. We just start subtracting the odd numbers. So, 1600 take away 1 is 1599, take away 3 is 1596, take away 5 is 1591, I think. So that goes down there. Uh, we can do it on this one as well, look. 1681 take away 1, that's easy. 1680 and take away 3, that's 1677. Let's put another line under there. And these numbers are reflected up the diagonal, so... If it goes that way, it goes that way. So from there to there is 1599. So it goes 1599. 1596, that would go there. 1596. We can do it with this one. Look. 1680. Keep going. That would be 1677. And if we keep going, oh, take away one. <laughs> I just can't stop doing this. If you keep going, we can fill in all these diagonals going up and down here. In fact, these go on forever. One, five, two. All right, stop it. Stop it. We now have white squares. What do we do with them? Well, look at this. That's the 40 column. That was 1,600. When we move down, we just add 40. So that's 1640. And once we've got that one filled in, we can then use the even numbers. Whoops. And we can just start taking these away. Here we go. So if we do 1640, take away 2 is 1638. Take away 4 is 1634. That would be 1628. And of course, these reflect going up that way. So in fact, that is the start. That torn bit is the first bit of 1640. And that is 1638. And we can fill in the whole of the times table grid, just starting off with those two numbers. Now, you've seen a lot of numbers here. Does it really work? Maybe you've been checking with the calculator, but why don't we just try one here in front of you to make sure I've not made a complete fool of myself. <laughs> um, there's a weird sum, 39 times 43. Let's just test that on the calculator. 39 times 43 and the calculator says 1677 and ta-da! <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? As you might guess, I quite like the times tables, call me weird, but I do. And I've actually made two videos about the times tables. This video is patterns, but my other video, let me show you something. I think it's good. Write out one, two, three, four. Isn't that nice? But look. 1, 2 equals 3 times 4. <laughs> My other video is about the tricks you can do with the times tables. That's just one little trick, but there's loads more. So I hope you're going to go and watch it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have fun. Let's have a little noise to say goodbye. <laughs>